Welcome back everybody. We're out here checking our weasel sets this morning and I doubled up on my weasel traps. I have two traps right here and uh, I had critters in both of them but they're not weasels. You got a squirrel in that one over there. And I just opened this one up. And look at that sucker. Another squirrel. He's a little greasy from my beaver meat in there, but two squirrels. So these weasel traps are good squirrel traps as well, obviously. We're just curious about them holes and wanted to check out what was inside them, I would assume. But we got a couple squirrels. We'll go ahead and get these traps reset here. Well, I'm going to show you guys this new weasel box that my grandpa Skelly just built for me. Open that up. And open that right up and we got a couple snap down traps in here that you just click up like that and they're set so I have a little piece of uh, beaver meat right back here and close that sucker up just like that and as grandpa said weasel diner is open 24-7 Little buggers will go right in that hole and get whacked right there. Man, that thing comes down hard. That'll do them in pretty good, I think. Grandpa also made me that too for skinning out the tails when I was little. Had that for, since 2005, he made that for me. I've skinned out a lot of tails with that bugger. But, we're gonna go out and set this. This is the weasel I caught the other day. I've just had it in here thawing out and I'm gonna get it skinned. But, that's what we're looking for with them right there. So, let's get out there and get that sucker set. Okay, so right here is where I chose to put the trap. I'm uh, there's a this is all swamp down in there and a lot of red brush and I've oftentimes seen weasel tracks up right through this brushy area. So this is where the weasel diner is gonna go, and I put some sticks here for the weasels if uh, make it easy to crawl right up to that hole. And I got a few chunks of beaver meat in the back of that, so. We're going to go ahead and set these traps. There's one set. And two set. They're good to go. So we'll close this top. Lock it in place. and That trap's good to go. I'm going to stick a trail camera on this tree right here to watch. So see if we can't catch a weasel going in there we'll see welcome back everybody it's been uh, at least probably a week since uh, you seen me on the trap line 
but we've had some pretty crazy weather in between that amount of time. We had uh, negative 20, 25 degree weather in there and uh, I actually pulled all my dirt hole sets that I had set on a previous video for you and last night I came and reset uh, four dirt hole sets and I got up to this first one right here and uh, I had this one get tripped. I took this piece of pipe that was laying over here as kind of a market a marker and put some fox bee up on there and I put a little bait tucked up under it and uh, that trap got tripped last night. And I think I know the culprit. There is a uh, right down there I had another set I got a big old fat coon in it right there. But what's really interesting is I have another set down the edge and I think I might have a stinking deer in it. There's a fawn laying right at my other set right there and I wonder if I somehow caught that fawn in it because I'm only about 80 yards away from it right now and it's not moving and that's right where the trap is so never caught a deer in one before but it's not struggling or anything so maybe I didn't but it's kind of suspicious as if I did. We'll go right up there and see if that deer's in there or not, and uh, we're going to have to get it out. I forgot my stinking peat moss, so I'm going to have to go back and get more peat moss to reset that trap. Well, the good news is the deer just ran away, so I didn't have that deer in the trap. But here's a big old boar coon. Look how deep that catch is. Really nice deep catch on him. So. We'll get him dispatched and uh, we'll have to go back and get peat moss and get these traps reset here. He's got a good coat on him for this late. It doesn't look like he's rubbed up or anything from being in the den. So, good deal. Well, this trap right here is still setting good. That deer was laying right here. Luckily, I didn't have it in the trap. But another reason I use stuff like this, markers, is so if we get, uh, you know, five or six inches of snow overnight, I know I don't lose where my trap is. With that there, I'll be able to find it if we get a bunch of snow either way. But I'll tell you what, I'm, what I had baited these sets with that I caught this big fat coon in. These are from my buddies. I'll put his uh, face look facebook link in the description below Cook, crooked creek lures seems to have worked pretty good so far welcome back everybody it is uh, 5th of february and uh we got this huge warm-up yesterday as i said on uh, yesterday's video and uh, I came out here and I had quite a few sets that were set off and I've been, yesterday I reset some, the day before that I reset some, and today I reset some. And it uh, looks like we're gonna have a few days of good trapping weather here. So I just reset this trap right here and uh, pretty much everything's just mud. Super muddy and it's gonna freeze tonight so I bedded that in the uh, hay and put, my bait and lure right there, kind of a dirt hole. That's a dirt hole from a previous set I had that I caught that fox with and I just moved the trap a little bit. And I kind of, I try to uh, blend all this stuff in right here. So there's not just one patch of hay right there. I want it, a lot of eye appeal here. And uh, these are the, this is a lure I use, a Coyote Gland Lure by Crooked Creek Lures and like I said before the link's going to be in the description to their Facebook page but I got to show you my buddy Sam has been just 
doing an awesome job with these coyotes. Let me check this out here. I'll show you some of these pictures or some of the he caught he sent me a picture of a coyote he caught yesterday, just a beautiful coyote. That's his remake right there, or his set. Looks like he's using wax dirt and stuff. That's a sweet picture. There's another one he caught. Beautiful coyote. So, you know that these uh, these lures and baits work. Especially catching coyotes this time of year. This is the hardest time of year to catch them in my opinion and he's nailing them. So, he knows what he's doing. We'll uh, go check a few more traps and see what else we can get into. Well, we got to our weasel box and the trap is sprung. And we got ourselves a mouse. No weasel, but a perfect mouse catch. We'll get it reset and be on with our trap horn.